you guys just played Melody. I'm just having fun because he's worthy. He's worthy. I remember when I was a little girl, I used to sit and I used to practice singing and I used to listen to artists and I used to practice like riffing and running and, and doing stuff like that. And then when, when I had gone through like a season in my life, the Lord was like, when you sing, well, first of all, it was like, I would ask the Lord why when I got on a stage to sing, I could never do the stuff that I could do at home. And the Lord was like, it's not about that. I want you to worship me. I don't want people to be enamored with your gift. Right? And so I'm like, okay, cool. And I felt like for a long time, like I lost like a lot of like what I could do. And then one time I was at home and I was worshiping alone. And I'm like, Lord, I just want to give you. He's like, sing. He's beginning to make melody. And he like, I felt like this whole thing opened up. Not that, not that it's what I probably would want if I was trying to really be nice, right? But I felt like the Lord was like, when you sing emphatically and when you run and riff and do like creative things with your voice, I love that. Like that's worship to me. And he took this thing that seemed like vanity and I didn't understand because he had kind of made it seem like that at first. But what the Lord was doing was he was training me in balance and understanding when the things were appropriate. And many times God is not telling you to just stop doing something. He's trying to tell you when to do it and when not to do it. He's trying to teach you discretion. And so for many people, like we were talking, um, I was talking with my friend. For many people, your sarcasm, let the Lord sanctify your humor. Let him sanctify your sarcasm. There's a time for that. Allow the Lord to sanctify your bluntness. Allow the Lord to sanctify your creativity. Because it's in those places. Because what I see happening is that Everybody's trying to be like the next worship artist because that's what's in now. Worship is trendy now. And so what we do is we cut off our creativity. We cut off naturally who we are. And I've got to say this to the African Americans in the room and, and the culturally um, diverse people. We many times, oh Lord, she's on it. But many times we whitewash what we do fit in to an industry. But God has not called worship to be an industry. Worship belongs to God. And there's nothing wrong with singing a song the way it was written because I believe in that. But there's nothing wrong with being who you are and offering God your true worship. And I feel the need to say that. I feel like there are people that are trying to whitewash and when I say white, I'm not talking about white people and black. I'm not talking about color of people. I'm talking about trying to make a blank canvas out of what the Lord has made ornamental. He's put ornaments on you. He's embellished you. Embellishment, that's for worship. And if you understood what the Lord required when he was building his temple, the wood, the plain stuff went on the inside, but it was overlaid with gold. There was um, uh, purple. There were colors, rubies, all sorts of emeralds and gems that he wanted to be in the place of worship. God is calling you, you, who you are. And so in this moment, I want to give God everything. I don't think a star decides I'm not going to shine as bright today because you know they might think that I'm too shiny. Not like yo. It's all for God's glory. And that's the idea about false humility. And I feel like there's been a question in the room. People have been wondering, well, what is false humility? False humility is when you're doing it just so that other people don't think you're private. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just quiet because so nobody thinks that I'm walking in pride. The Lord is calling us to be confident in who we are and to offer him up worship in spirit and in truth. And let him judge the heart. Yeah. We're not worrying about what people think of us for real, y'all, because we gotta get free from people. Yes, yes, amen. 